Welcome back. We wanted to revisit a story from last week because we got a really good question about it from you at home. We told you last week about the way that school board meetings here in the Northwest and frankly across the country are just getting wild. And then the very next day, chaos broke out at this Portland Public School Board meeting. Anti-vaccine groups and far right groups from across the state gathered to protest a proposed vaccine mandate for all PPS students. A lot of people in that crowd, it's worth noting, do not have kids in PPS. A lot of them don't even live in Portland. The meeting, regardless, had to be stopped and moved online because so many people in the crowd refused to put on a mask. Now, the board has decided as a result of this that all their meetings will be held for the rest of the month, will be held virtually. And that made one of our viewers ask this question. Why does PPS allow people who don't have kids in PPS schools onto the school board meetings or into these meetings? Zoom link to all the parents who have kids in school and only allow those people in. And that came into our email. It's a great question. So several of you thought that the board meetings should only be open to the people who have kids in the district. And the answer as to why that can't happen, experts tell us and officials tell us, is that public schools function as a larger part of our democracy and the idea that if our community educates children well, they will go on to improve our society is at the core of that. And because school boards make so many decisions for our kids, they are held accountable to the entire public, not just parents. The entire public also pays for the public schools through taxes and levies and bonds. So you have a right to know how your money is being spent, whether you have a kid there or not. Under Oregon law, and most other states for that matter, most school board meetings have to be open to the public so the public can be aware of what's going on in the schools that they fund. Now here's the thing, a meeting that is open to the public does not necessarily mean that it's open to public comment. That is big. This is not open mic night for your vaccine conspiracy theories. It is a public attendance law, not a public participation law. Most school boards, though, will take public comment on the things they propose and they vote on, but they're allowed to limit who can comment and how long they can talk for. Board meetings also can be closed to the public if they go into executive session, but the board members are only allowed to discuss specific topics under those circumstances. But again, education is a key component of democracy, and that's why everyone pays taxes for schools, not just parents. And it's why everyone in a certain area votes for any new school funding, and everyone votes for school board members. We all vote on all of this. And it's why anyone in that area or zone or district can run for the school board. You don't have to have a connection with the schools, and everyone can again go to the board meetings and see what's going on. It's a great question, though. A lot of you had it. Keep sending in those questions, comments, concerns, all that good stuff to the story at KGW.com. Find us on social media. We're going to finish the show right after this.